Hey there, it's Ilze B here. I am making this small video to tell you about the blog post that I wrote about Latvian beliefs, traditions and superstitions that are related to this time of the year, namely the Easter time or the spring equinox time. Just like I explained in my blog post, Latvian Easter traditions are a mix of Latvian pagan traditions and Christian traditions. Christianity was brought to Latvia, or the area that is Latvia nowadays, in the 12th to 13th century by German crusaders and tradespeople. They were Catholics. And thus, those are very old traditions, and they are even incorporated in Latvian folklore. So Latvian folklore is a mix of pagan traditions and Christian traditions. In my blog post, I start by referring to the Sunday that is before Easter Sunday, and that in English is called Palm Sunday. But in Latvia, there are no palms, but there are a lot of willows, willow trees, and they bloom at this time of the year. They have catkins. So the name of that Sunday actually is Willow Catkin Sunday or Pussy Willow San Sunday. And in Latvian, we say it Pupolsvediena. There are a lot of interesting traditions related to this Easter time, and particularly the tradition related to Willow Catkin Sunday or Pussy Willow Sunday is that Latvians spank each other using those willow twigs. And that way they enhance the health of their family members. Interesting, isn't it? The other days that I refer to in my blog post are Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday, and Easter Sunday. But in Latvian, we call them differently. For instance, in Latvian, we don't say Monday, Thursday, but we say Green Thursday. And in Latvian, that is Zalia Ceturdiena. Also, in Latvian, we don't say Good Friday, we say Great Friday. And in Latvian, that is Liela Piegdiena. Next, in Latvian, we don't say Holy Saturday or Black Saturday, we say Quiet Saturday. And in Latvian, that is Klusa Sesdiena. And finally, in Latvian, we have two Easter days. And that is the first Easter day, which is Sunday, and the second Easter day, which is Monday. They both are days off in Latvia. And in Latvian, we say Pirmas Lieldienas. That would be the first Easter, Easter day or Easter Sunday. And Utras Lieldienas, which would be the Easter Monday. I'm also revealing some interesting traditions and even superstitions in my blog post related to these days. For instance, you can see who is a witch among the churchgoers if you look through the hole of a coffin board. And you can get everything you want by doing this, and this is going to be very gross and very cruel. So you have to catch two mating frogs and throw them on an ant hill. And then you have to leave without looking back. You will hear somebody singing and violence playing according to this belief. And later dogs howling, but you should not look back. Yet you must return on the following day and then search the ant hill. If you find a little hook, that hook will help you to attract everything you want. And if you find a little crutch, that crutch will help you to push away everything that you want to be pushed away from you. But if you want to learn more, go to my blog post and read about Easter traditions. Also, I encourage you to subscribe to receive my emails because every now and then I send out informative and useful tips about Latvian traditions 
and about how to learn Latvian. And then you will see my email. You can respond to me and ask me questions. I read all emails and I try to answer all relevant questions so that everybody else also learns about those things that you are interested in. But now I'll say bye-bye, ata, till the next time.